Hey, Trey Campbell here, coming at you with a live trade plan for, let's see, February the 7th, 2019. Going to keep it short, sweet, to the point. Uh, we're going to start here. Obviously, we're going to be looking at slash ES, the S&P uh, futures, and I always start on a four-hour chart there, so you've got that and that, and let's zoom out here so we can look at the big picture here as far as what's going on so all week we've been looking for this rollover right and we knew it was coming and it has started consolidating just like it kinda did right here in this area uh, however this one is I'm, I'm kind of kinda of making the guess that this is gonna be a deeper pullback than this area was like I said we've gotta still maintain this area to uh, you know to show that this chart is still strongly bullish uh, but it could even come down into this area here and still remain bullish it doesn't mean that it's you know we've lost all the the strength if it does come down back down into this uh, area however um, we are still kind of overbought we're under that Keltner now but we still have a lot of room to go down in which we could do overnight uh, around this uh, middle Keltner here and the negative uh, 0.5 there but um, but as of structure wise as far as the four hour chart we're just now getting into that rollover so tomorrow we we can we can look for um, as long as we not cycle down into this area in the morning around nine o'clock nine thirty the open you know as long as we're not in this area when it opens uh, we can still look for sell triggers and I'll show you my thought on that so let's zoom in here to the 15 minute chart and see what we got here we've got um, you know a uh, a pretty pretty negative looking chart as of right now I'm gonna have to really fight to get back up here to this plus point five at this point so uh, I didn't trade today but that was a really good trade right there off of value high uh, that you know I, I didn't get a chance to make a trade plan last night or anything but if I had of that would have been definitely a spot to you know because we were coming into it here I'd have said let's sell this let's you know if we get good change control here uh, rejection off value area high uh, or the plus five or whatever but anyway missed that one but anyway today we're going to look at or for tomorrow rather we're going to look at you know possible trades and uh, depending on what it does overnight if we stay in this box or not there could be a trade potential you know outside this box if, if we continue down uh, you know a bounce off of that a rejection off of that you know even if we come back up in this area we've got a rejection we've got a rejection area here as well so we've got a lot of sell points tomorrow um, to to try to to see where this goes so I don't know as of right now what this thing wants to do but it's it's going to do one of those things so we're going to wake up in the morning and this thing's going to be here 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 and if you know if it's if it's around in here we've got triggers to sell we've got triggers to sell there um, and then of course if it's outside this box just headed down you know it might make it this far and then come all the way back up give us a second chance to nail a short there as well so um, that's the the uh, the thought process. If you look, the spacing of the uh, uh, plus 0.5 and the negative 0.5 is much wider than normal, and you know, so so we've definitely got to run towards one of those tomorrow. Uh, my my thought process is this area, you know, the negative plus or the negative 0.5. And you know potentially a a bounce there, and maybe you know maybe we end the day there somewhere, or or vice versa. Maybe it breaks down and comes back up or something. I don't know. But um, as of right now, my trade plan for tomorrow is you know we come in here, we're outside the box, we come back, boom, there's a short. You know we're in the box, it bounces off the POC, there's a short it comes up to a value very high boom there's a short 
you know I don't I don't I mean unless just something crazy happens where we turn back you know hugely po which is possible you know it could happen that we we break through that POC we find support and we just keep on cruising and in that case you know we're overbought again but look we got the plus five right there for a sell trigger so we've got all scenarios covered for tomorrow you know we've got the most likely boom there you go boom uh, and then we break down and boom back down through here and then if we get there earlier in the day somewhere you know where there's time enough to trade you know you might look at that uh, negative five there as a as a uh, a point of a uh, of a little bit of a bounce there so hope this video helps hope everybody had a good day totally missed the trading day today uh, but hopefully I'll be back in it tomorrow it's it's definitely looking a little a little you know bearish to me I mean I'm I'm feeling this rollover I'm feeling it being more significant than the last one the last one it didn't it didn't really roll over so I, I'm, I'm feeling this one gonna you know is gonna be a, a much bigger rollover so we'll just wait and see and uh, and play it and trade it as it comes and uh, you know as they set up and uh, you guys know my trade plan that's exactly what I'm looking to do uh, sell this market as long as it allows me to and then you know I'm not really interested in in, uh, in picking anything up until we get down to that negative five now if that negative half there and you got the the Keltner right there too so you know you've got some good support in this area between the Keltner and and the uh, the negative five uh, if it does come on down to the negative one, you know, you're sitting right there on uh, old resistance. So that that is going to be, if we do make it down to that area, you can you can you can bet that we'll get a pretty pretty decent. I, I would put money behind it that we get a pretty decent bounce. If nothing else, just at least a bounce back up to the negative five. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to tomorrow if this thing, if I nailed a, a, a long here, a contract long, and it just kept tanking, uh, I would go ahead and nail another one there and, and bet that before the day ends, you know, we get back up to uh, negative uh, half there. So, uh, seems about like all the case scenarios that could happen, and we know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. I'm just going to play them as they come, and uh, happy trading, everybody.